In today's video, we're taking a look at some of the main content of the game and giving you guys some tips. So we're gonna be talking about the Encore Mission Instance Dungeons and the Workshop of Brilliant Light. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you happen to be new. And by the way, guys, I am actually a part of the brand new creator support platform that Netmarble has called Creators Plus M. So make sure that you guys do support me through the link down below in the description. I have literally one supporter and this is massive. So make sure <laughs> the, the program is massive. Not, not my count, right? Make sure you do support linked down below in the description. And if you are someone that is a content creator, make sure you do join this new program that Marvel has because you guys can earn even more back from the supporter purchases. So make sure you do that. All that is found down below in the description. Also for my longstanding supporters, you may be looking like, wait a minute, I no, I support you already. That's because this is a different program with different rewards. So make sure you're supporting on both platforms, which will both be linked down below. So that being said, let's go ahead and dive into today's video. By the way, really quick note, we actually have a handful of spots open currently in the guild because people were inactive and stuff like that. So if you are looking for a, uh, it's like semi-competitive, we're not the craziest thing, but if you're looking for a guild, make sure you join, you apply in the game. Uh, Krillin, it is the name. We're looking for a few dedicated players to help us out. I'd appreciate it big time. So make sure you do that. Also, you can, if you wanna chat with us, we do have a Discord, which is linked down below in the description. And uh, there's a more like dedicated, you know our group is there i don't know why i keep saying the word dedicated but yeah you can talk to us there that's how we organize everything so all of that is in the description all right so proof of the strong is unfortunately really really difficult and honestly i don't really think that it's all that doable unless you have a couple of different things that i don't own so this is a look at my team uh it could be a little bit bigger and i think that's one of the main things you would want i also think you really want that third dupe on go because from testing this out, there's a lot of times where Go is super duper close to breaking the opponent, but he's sitting on the ultimate and you would just prefer to get it off so you can set up and just do the damage. And uh, ultimately I wind up starting to time out as a result of not being able to break the opponent just a smidge faster. You could potentially, if you've got a Beck, you know that's decent, probably drop uh, Min and just go all in on the break slash damage. But Min does provide that support and the ultimate, all that stuff. So you're probably losing a good bit of damage, but Tier 20 isn't as hectic or as bad. So this is the one that I will be farming today and showing you guys my strategy for. That being said, post down below if you've cleared proof of the strong and uh, all that fun stuff. We are still deep in the red for this. It's not, I mean, if you could clear this, if you could clear this, you're really close to clearing proof of the strong. You, this is not a huge power gap. It's like what, 40,000? Uh, it's not, it's not crazy. So that being said, it's uh, unless my math is off quick math. Don't blame me. It's not that massive. Like if you can clear this, you're you're all right. But, you know, the problem is that as you deep as you dip deeper into the red, you start doing less damage. The opponent does more damage. It's just not great. So ultimately, I've had some testing runs where the opponent nearly one shot my go, which is not supposed to happen. Right. So it's confusing a little bit or excuse me, a little bit difficult, not confusing. Excuse me. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. Let's see what we can do. So this guy's not all that hard. Uh, the tricky thing with him is that he heals, but Cha was made in a way where that unrecoverable effect was made specifically for this boss. And it allows you to do crazy power punch ups back in the older format before they changed the way that this was laid out. I cleared the difficulty 10, which was the hardest at the time uh, with like 200,000 or something less than the recommended power, all because she stops him from healing. So keep that in mind here. Now you could set up right here. You could go for a, you can go for a slow break, a little bit here, set up. You could go for the full break. Honestly, it doesn't truly matter a ton. But what will determine your luck with this is whether or not your Cha is able to do a lot of damage. So having a big Cha is going to be huge, right? So I'm going to just set up a little bit later. We're just going to go ahead and get all of our cooldowns going, and then we'll bring Cha in for the unrecoverable effect, and she'll also just do some damage here. But nonetheless, that's more or less what it looks like. All right, watch out for those because they do hit pretty hard. All right, so, so far so good. And we're gonna go here. Not sure why that's on my screen, but okay. All right, game, are you gonna take that off or? <laughs> I guess not. Hopefully it registers this completed fight. Sometimes it doesn't. All right, so we're gonna go there. We have our debuffs. We're gonna go to the min ultimate here. And I'm not gonna drop the, the circle. Ah. I will. It won't really matter. He's going to be out of this, you know, right here. So you'd like to go to this and then into a bunch of dancers and then it's the ultimate. Especially when he has that circle below him. He didn't have it anymore, but we'll see what happens here. If I crit, it's like 3 million. 3.4. Yeah. So 
a big cha makes all the difference here and I, I found that she is much more impressive with big rock uh than she was before also i haven't showed it but i am war i'm using warmonger on the left side and uh on the right side expert that is what she's using i like that a lot I, I you know toughness is okay armed is okay uh full curse is good but i don't i don't know that you know what maybe full curse would be better in the other fight like you know I was, what really back to back he's i've never seen him do it back to back oh that's crazy okay i have never seen him do it back to back that's cr i've played this fight so many times i've never seen him do it back to back so that might screw me because he might have healed a decent bit okay he healed like 30 life bars right so uh, we'll see how this goes i've never seen bro do it back to back that's kind of crazy but go breaks really fast here so for the most part it's pretty good but like i said the timing on it is a little bit wonky if you don't have that break on the ultimate that's what i was trying to say earlier all right so i'm not gonna get the time limit thing because he's he did the heal so it ruined the setup but i'm gonna get him here i'm gonna get another ultimate and we're gonna win okay I've had him. I've, I've literally had situations where I've, I pressed this button and he just went up in the sky to heal again. So, like, that, again, proof of the strong is harder, but clearing that, Cha makes it doable. And, like I said, that was just for context. I have a big Cha now. I mean, she's been in the game since literally launch day and global launch, so it's not like she's a new character. But that being said, she is still putting up good numbers. Go made her a bunch better. But I was having performance like that out of Cha in terms of her beating that boss nearly single handedly when she first came out and I had one dupe in her literally one dupe she was beating the top difficulty and that is what she was made for she was made for that fight with that effect so she just runs over this entire fight and she is the most important character to have here for context you do not need go you can run Beck Yunho if you've got him built up and uh you would be successful as well you just need the break in fact you could argue you could argue like I was talking about earlier Beck is actually a good character because the defense down you get it from from uh, the shadow, but you don't really have it anywhere else. That's kind of the problem with a lot of these non Jinu hunters is they can't readily apply defense down all that often. So Beck is still pretty strong for that. Anyway, moving on. Uh, let's see what we can do in some other content. This was Encore, right? Let's do Instance. Oh, wait a minute. So speaking of Warmonger, what did I get here? Attack. Oh, double attack. Double HP too? This one's pretty versatile, isn't it? This is a good piece. I like this piece a lot. You'd rather have like crit rate, but I like this. I like this piece a lot. Uh, destroyer. I'm not really looking for any destroyer. Solid foundation. Not looking for that. Uh, I'm pretty set on those. Solid analysis. A toughness armor. Eh. Noble sacrifice. Blech. So nothing really here except for that uh, piece. Let me see that warmonger helmet. Oh, yeah, this is the one I was looking at. Never mind. <laughs> Whoops. All right, let's see what we can do with the next one. All right, let's do it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is try to go for the break. As always, you have the dilemma of, do you wanna break immediately? Do you wanna break a little bit later? It's set up, all these other things you can potentially do. But for me, I'm gonna just go all in right now and see if we can get it going. I'll also maybe set up a West Wind here. If it, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, that works. <laughs> He's like, what West Wind? What are you talking about? What is bro waffling about? <laughs> I guess we're gonna slow down then since he got out of that. Let's go now. Stun and uh, it wasn't all that great, unfortunate. Okay. We'll set that up. Break him here. Or not. Or not. Okay, apparently I should put um pulverize on because that's ridiculous. We're gonna set this then. I guess we are going to go a little bit slower than I intended. Okay. Let's go here. Ah. We also only had one full bloom. Oh, I 
did it a half second early. I was reading his body movements. That that one is that's that one is my favorite one because it's typically pretty easy, even though I missed it. <laughs> All right. I typically save my ult for when he summons the stupid statues, though, and then I just throw that there. Get out of that range. I love her stun. It's so useful. Okay, the fire dragons are whatever. I'll go a short one here. Okay. So right here, I'm all out of MP though, because I've got the um, skill on to increase my damage, but reduce my MP. What the? <laughs> Dude, why did you do start stalling there? What the heck? That was weird. Okay, let's go for this. Uh, he's taking a long time to do his... Oh, there it is. I was like, dude, where's the power of fire crap? He was taking a long time to do it. This one's going to be a little bit close because he took so long to do it. Hopefully this hits all three. It typically does. And it missed one. Great. Just what I needed. Just what I needed. Okay, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. That's why I have that on because it's a fail safe. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're gonna hit me. They're gonna hit me when I'm supposed to be invincible. Nice. Uh, let's run it back. Let's run it back. That one. That one just took too long. He, he took too long to set it up. Otherwise, I would have been fine. But yeah, my strategy typically is that, and it works most of the time. Especially if you get that third one, it's supposed to be a part of the ultimate. I like to do it towards the middle, but. You got to be really specific about where you do it from because you will miss one on either side if you don't do it at the right spot. Okay, that's fine. I took that gamble just to get a little bit more break. Oh, also, that's what ruined that last run too, huh? This one started okay, but then he dodged that west wind and it ruined everything. There's the dodge. Okay. Uh, you gonna jump or fire? Okay, jump. I'll set this. Ooh, nothing. Nice. Love when I don't get the crit there. Makes me feel so alive. All right. So now we're going to chill for a second. Get set up. Okay. I want to get my Y skill back. That looked nice. That was a cool animation. That was a cool animation. I got to say it. I got to say it. That looked cool. All right. Let's see if we can get this. Yeah. I also meant to set up another amplifying, but it's all good. That time I got that one on time. Okay. Agony. Harmony acceleration. Ah! We hit each other at the same time. I forget you can't do that one to 100%. You got to let it go if you do what I did. <laughs> All right. I'm still above 40, right? That must be the threshold for this one. Levitation, harmony, acceleration. All right. I want to do the summons here, actually. Hit them, not me. Thanks. Yeah, hit the minions. Fire dragon. Okay. Yeah, Egress. I appreciate you, my guy. I see you doing that bleed. Okay. He's going to do it right here, right? Bro's got to do it right here, right? There it is. Okay. Let's see if I get all three this time. Let's try. If not, I'm going to have to go straight into a West Wind. I'm a little bit low on time. Ah! What? You're kidding me. You are kidding me. Wow, dude, you're kidding me. It's a waste of time. That's, there's nothing I can do there. It's just a waste of time. You're kidding me. I hit one. Dude, that's brutal. We may still get this if I get some crits. What the? Oh, I have no MP. Oh, you're kidding me. 
<laughs> Get screwed! <in. laughs> Get screwed! I was gonna say Egress. Karglagon! So that was not a perfect run, but the most important thing is that he the way you beat him is pretty straightforward. Um maybe maybe they space those statues out so you're not hitting all three at once. Maybe that's a thing. Either way, if I don't use my ultimate there, what I would do is instead of using the ultimate. I would um, I would go straight into a West Wind and then ultimate in the middle. You could do that as well. But I typically just put on daily quest in case you missed it. Because if you don't have daily quest on, then you are going to just obviously lose right there. <laughs> but I mean, if they hit you through your invincibility, so, you know, that's a thing. But yeah, hopefully you guys got some good tips out of that fight. I actually think that fight is much, much, much easier than the Egress fight. Uh, Egress is kind of... Oh, to be fair, I haven't tried Egress since uh, Charlotte came out. Harper. God, this is Harper, right? Ever since this one came out, I, I like her, like I said, because she does do that stun. That stun is really strong. Uh, so that actually is probably super good on Egress because he likes to bounce around the map so freaking much. He teleports, doing all that stupid stuff. So that probably is super good on Egress. Uh, if you guys want to see a video covering that, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And make sure, because there's only a few days left that you guys are completing the full moon treasure hunt event. I've been sitting on all my own rewards, but one of the main missions that you guys have here is clearing the instance dungeon. So make sure that you are doing that here. It is going to make your life much easier when you get a few more, a few more of those, excuse me. We also do have the wheel event, which is pretty interesting. Uh, it is, uh, it's in here somewhere. <laughs> the name is listed wrong. I'm not sure why, but this is a really cool event. I think this is the first time that they've ran this and it's very easy very quick again the missions are largely the same in terms of how you get these tickets just playing the game will get you these and then from there you run it and then after you've done it so many times you do get the final rewards which is going to be this blessing stone right here a blessing stone volume 2 selection so that is going to be uh definitely extremely useful so make sure that again you guys are clearing this there's only a few days left on this and you need to get it done all right, so here's a look at Workshop of Brilliant Light. For the record, this will be changing pretty soon. I believe Baron is going to be added here next week, if I remember correctly. Anyway, up to now, it has been wind and water. And the main hunters that you guys should be using here are extremely straightforward. It's wind and water hunters. Now, these ones are the ones that I think perform the best here for multiple reasons. And well, okay, Min's not a wind or water. You could use one of the other supports, but I like Min for the crit bonus with West Wind. West Wind does do a crap ton of damage here. Uh, you can use any weapons. You can go double water. You can go double wind if you've got that. You can do a lot of different things. You could add in Plum Sword if you wanted to do that with West Wind. That works out pretty well too uh if you're gonna use west wind you probably want to use I, I shifted a lot of these around you don't have to use these but i really really if you've got a if you've got a better sharp per perception i really do like this with west wind a lot but for the most part if you run full wind full water which i don't really recommend doing you can use this and it's really good especially if you've got a better version of it than me uh pulverize is extremely strong here depending on your setup there's a lot of different things you can do i typically don't take bloodlust off i love it it's my favorite one in the entire game so versatile and so useful but that being said that's what i will be looking towards uh and alicia her cleanse her freeze her damage she's really good here and uh, Wu Jinchil, the break and the extra dashes is extremely strong <laughs> so those ones are the ones you definitely want to use the grimoire here definitely recommend it because of the fact that it freezes and helps you spike your damage overall shadows don't matter a ton in this mode with sung Janu here but you could do um this, which is a more standardized shadow setup. I do like Egress for most content, especially with West Wind, because you need to get that crit. And that is a look at this mode. It's uh, pretty straightforward. Now, when you move on and you have to use the other hunters for these other three stages, the hunters you're going to use are, again, largely the same. Okay, so I haven't talked about Mirei, but you could do a mixture of wind water. You could run this exact team if you wanted to. It would be successful. I typically would like to use uh, Mirei alongside Han Semi or alicia alongside mei lin that's what you would want to uh, ideally excuse me do and uh that third spot is up to you right that third spot's up to you you could go full water you could add in uh Sa. you could add in uh wu jinchil with the wind team with the other two wind characters also dark horse character is pretty good in this mode it's dong su because of the shield removal especially against those demons and stuff he's he's pretty good i like him a lot uh <laughs> Wait, which demon? No, no, it's not the demons, is it? It's it's this stage where they spawn with shields. Also, Dong Su is good against 
this guy when he drops that stupid shield at the very end when you're about to win sometimes yeah dong su just takes it all off because that thing's a fat shield too so dong su is really good in this mode as well don't sleep on him but that's a look at workshop of brilliant light make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you are new and like i said guild we do have a few spots open so feel free to apply on the discord linked down below in the description